Good morning from Val Terrens here in the Free Valleys, France. This is not only the highest resort in the Free Valleys, but it's also the highest ski resort in Europe. You'll be able to see behind me the purpose-built village here in Val Terrens, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary. People come here because it's so high for early season snow. We're going to go and take a look. Yesterday, I've got to be honest, it didn't deliver. It was meant to be snow and we got rain, but let's go and see what we can find today in Val Terrens with this, our Val Terrens ski guide. Let's go. Locally, the ski area of Val Terrens has access to 150 kilometers of piste. That by itself makes it a pretty sizable ski resort. The fact that you can also add to that the Free Valley ski area for an additional seven euros a day on your lift pass gives you access to 600 kilometers of piste across Meribel, Courcheval, Orel, Lemon Weir, and more. What I would say is the real benefit of basing yourself here in Val Terrens in that village behind me is that 99% of the terrain here is above 2000 meters. So if you're coming in early or late season, this is the place to come to guarantee yourself good snow. One thing that's really noticeable about here in Val Trent in the Free Valley is the quality of the chairlifts. This one that I'm sat on at the moment is called Cascades. Now, Cascades has something that I haven't seen anywhere else before. It's got like a double platform for entering. So although it's a six person chair, there's actually 12 spaces and one chair detaches, the other one goes round, so you can load it a lot quicker. At peak times, this does a really good job of just alleviating the queues here in Val Terrens. I will say that haven't really suffered that badly from lift queues. The majority of terrain here in Val Terrens is aimed at intermediate skiers or riders. There is an absolute plethora of blue and red runs. I'm currently here at the top of the Peque Gondola. I could go in that direction on a little bit of a flat into what is a gorgeous blue, but I'm gonna head down this way. If you're an intermediate skier or snowboarder and you're looking to get away from the crowds at Val Terrens, then the Bois Mach chair is the one to go to. I'm sorry if I butchered that pronunciation, but it's the chair that I'm currently on. From the top of this, there are loads of nice blue and red runs that don't seem to get the crowds of other parts of the resort. I don't know if it's because it's slightly lower, people tend to avoid it, but Bois Mach is the place to be for quiet blue and red slopes. So I'm here at the top of the Val Terrens Park. You can probably see that this side is currently closed. Throughout the season, this is where the large jump line will be built. But over my right shoulder down here is the lower park where you'll see some nice little entry level ride on boxes and small jumps. I think that's where I belong. Let's check it out.
that has got to be one of my favorite views in Val Torrens. From the top of Le Grand Fond, you've got the option to ski back down into Val Torrens or across into Arel, which seems like a pretty good opportunity to remind you that I made some videos about Arel a couple years ago. They're linked on screen. Make sure you check them out. For the more able skier or snowboarder here in Val Torrens, there isn't much listed on the piece map in terms of black terrain. There is a really nice black run from the top of the Cime de Caron. However, that has been closed for the last couple of days since the snowfall. But Val Torrens does have a lot of off piste So let's go and check out some of that and have some fun just to the side of the pistes. beautiful clear day, Val Torrens is an incredible place to snowboard. The problem comes on days like yesterday. Yesterday it was low, flat light, and you could hardly see anything. Because of the altitude of the resort, there's no trees here, so you lack that real context that you can find in other resorts. If you're here in Val Torrens and the weather gets bad, think about heading into Meribel or down to San Martin, where you're going to get more tree-lined runs. That is it from here in Val Torrens. It has been a beautiful couple of days snowboarding here. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you've enjoyed the content, consider subscribing, hitting the like, or helping me out by buying me a coffee, link in the description. All the money from that is gonna help me make more content just like this. I really appreciate all the support so far. We're pushing our way closer to a thousand subs. I will see you soon with another video. As always, thanks for watching.